Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football 4-Box. Pick your team at number 6. A little break credit we're giving away if you follow the instructions there. Big thanks to this group right here. So it's a 24-box case. So 6 times 4 boxes right here, that's 24. So 6, break 6 is the last 4 boxes of that case we popped open. So break 7 is from a fresh 24-box uh, case. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> sure, that, that would be awesome. I'll, I'll take the Malbec. I'm not that picky though. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to tell a, a ten dollar bottle of Malbec from a fifty dollar bottle of Malbec. Most people can't, I think, unless you're. Unless you're a, a sommelier or something like that. I think most people can't tell. I think you can tell probably between like a $10 bottle and like a $200 bottle. I think you'll probably be able to tell the difference. But I think for most of us, you won't be able to tell. Unless you have a nose and a palate for it, which I don't. Can I tell the difference between scotches? I probably could between a standard, I could probably tell the difference between a, a Johnny Walker red and a Johnny Walker blue. Probably could, probably could. I do like a good Johnny Walker blue. Many, many years ago, at a different job, I was gifted a bottle of Johnny Walker blue. Man, that was good. But yeah, Perry and, and and everybody really, I would encourage everybody, because you're going to get really jealous when you start hearing me complain about how cold it is in Southern California while you're, while you're shoveling snow on a daily basis. I would say just if you can't beat them, join them. Come visit Jaspies in the fall, in the, in the wintertime basically. When it starts snowing your neck of the woods, start making some plans to get to Hermosa Beach, California. We are just maybe 15, 20 minutes south of LAX, of the airport here. Um, so you can kind of ball on a budget. I feel like if you want to go fancy, you certainly can. But I think you can ball on a budget. That's to 125. That's mini Xavier Howard for the Dolphins. That'll be for Michael Galush. I feel like Jaspies needs to figure out some sort of like Jaspies travel package. Could we do that? We'd have to we'd have to find an airline to sponsor us. There's Leonard Fournette to two ninety nine. Um, we do have a hotel, a, a Hampton Inn, which I think if you're a Hilton member, it's part of the same family. So if you have points like that, uh, I feel like they're literally a block away, and then you don't have to rent a car if you don't want to. And there's plenty of places you can walk to. A lot of the pier has Hermosa Beach Pier. A lot of restaurants and. And bars and whatnot, and little shops to hang out in. So um, you can ball on a budget, or you can ball out if you want to. There's Damien Pierce. Everyone thinks LA is like super expensive, and it's like it is, but you can definitely ball on a budget. Thirteen fifty. Uh, 13 out of 50 for the Texans, Jerry B. You're mad you missed meeting me and Jason, but also mad you missed buying Jaspi merch. You're going to be even more mad, Harry, because we were just giving that merch away. We weren't even selling it. We had, we had stickers. We had pens. We had tote bags. I think we were too late on shirts, but... Is Lamar Jackson to 199? Lamar Jackson signed a contract?
Right. I, we need to. We definitely need to work on our swag game for sure. We'll get our. We'll get our swag game going. Also, ladies and gentlemen, next year's national is uh, in Chicago. 2023 national in Chicago around the same time, late July, early August. Usually the last week of July, I want to say. However, it falls on the calendar. Trevor Lawrence, second year Trevor Lawrence to 199 for the Jags. It'll be for Nestor. There's a Kenny Pickett for the Steelers, Michael. We haven't seen an autograph of his or anything low numbered, but we have seen some of his base card or base rookie cards here. Rookie mini, that's Kyle Hamilton for the Ravens. That'll be for Nestor. So it's in Chicago next year, so start making your plans. Uh, 91 out of 100, that's Trent McDuffie for the Chiefs. That will be for Kansas City. That's going to go to Nestor. Stephon Diggs, can you dig it? To 100 for the Bills. It'll be for Harry and the Buffalo Bills. And we got a Derek Stingley Jr. And that will be for Jerry and the Texans. Two Texans autographs in this box. Got both autos, Jerry. Nice. All right, box two. If you go to the National in Chicago next summer, boys and girls, plan ahead early. Plan for a couple days, at least, because you're going to need some time to, to spend at the National. It's overwhelming. Day one is really just, you just take a quick lap around. Day two, you got to maybe try to, um, day two, you got to try to figure out, uh, you know, go back to the spots you want to go to. A lot of pro tips I learned at this particular National. Obviously grading, you know, it's a one-stop shop for, for bringing all your cards and putting it directly into the hands of PSA or Beckett or whoever you want to grade with, which is great. ComC has a presence there. Some of you may be familiar with ComC, who's a big clearinghouse for, uh, for selling like parallels and base cards and whatnot. Those are great. That's, that's great too. Apparently you can just bring all your cards to them and put it right in their hands, which is convenient. So there's a lot of sort of, sort of stuff that you can do at the National outside of seeing Jaspies and your other favorite breakers and, and other eye candy and get redemptions fulfilled from Tops and Panini and whatnot. So, and you can see whatnot there as well. So it is, it is a lot of fun, a big presence there. Um, if you get there early enough, they will slab it for you and get it back to you by the end of the day, end of the week. I was kidding, Harry. There's no other. There's no other breakers. No one else does it except for us. We're the only people that do. This. Other people do this. That this was a thing we just figured out. Oh, nice. Uh, what 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 did you make, Gilo? I just drink gin straight up straight with maybe a block of ice a small ice cube just to open up the flavor a little bit gin and sprite it's not too bad what's your what's your ratio I don't know if they they'll, I don't know if they sell this outside of California, but there's like a small batch, small batch gin spot gin place called uh, Gray Whale Gin. That's really good. If you ever see it in your local store, for gin fans, I would I would I would drink it. You know uh, that who's the the gin that Ryan Reynolds I think pitches Aviation is not too bad actually. 
It's not too bad. Two thirds spread. That's a little too much for me anyway. Eighty out of one hundred and fifty. Brandon Cooks. It tastes like 1940. It is an, it is an old man drink or an old person drink. Uh, I used to drink a lot of... I was a big Jameson guy. I guess I still am. But I don't drink that as much. And I had... Uh, there's Tyree Kill. Nestor. Still Chiefs edition. I wanted to switch to a, a clear... More clear uh, booze. And I'm not that into vodka... Um, so, Jen, it was. <laughs> That's the 125. Past, present, for Buffalo. That's for Harry. People call you an old man for drinking gin. Don't worry, Gilos. Soon, before you know it, because everything runs in cycles and trends, gin will suddenly become the cool drink. You know, for... There's another Kenny Pickett. For a long time, Heineken was an old man beer. There's Russell Wilson at 199. Uh, stuff your grandparents would drink. Right, but a clever rebranding, rebranding campaign later. Now it's like it's, it's billed as the beer for James Bond, and it's hip. Now there's Deshaun Watson, uh, Browns edition. And there is Tyler Beatty. Rookie autograph for the Ravens. That's going to be for Nestor. So next time, Gilo, someone tells you that you're an old man for drinking gin all the time, you tell them you're you're ahead of the curve. That's what you tell them. You'll be like, you just wait. You just wait until until gin becomes the cool trendy drink and you're like yeah well and then all of your friends will be like well Gabe was drinking gin long before any of us what a cool guy he knows cool things Trevor Lawrence to 299 and there's Jalen Tolbert Right, gin is like the skinny jeans of alcohol. It'll come back. Dallas, that's going to be for Cody. This break brought to you by gin. Please drink responsibly, 21 and over only. Restrictions may apply. All right, halfway through this four box break. I'm glad Nick did these in four box breaks. Imagine if I had to do a full 24 box break. I don't know if I'd make it. No, I'd be fine. Any other orders coming? I don't see orders coming in, so. <laughs> yeah, gin and juice? That's an old people drink. Yeah, that's for people. That, that's for, for old guys like Snoop Dogg. Dollar is like, oh no, I can sound old now. Yeah, I feel like 
feel like whiskey had its revival, right? There's a lot of whiskey bars around here. You know. I feel like with like Tito's vodka and stuff like that, I feel like vodka has been always, always been like a thing. IPAs in the beer world, micro brews, big thing. And now um, all the all the seltzer stuff, that seltzer craze is kind of slowing down now, but but like that's been a big thing. What's next? You know? I feel like gin. I feel like gin is on the horizon. That's, that's got to be the next hip, the hi, next hipster drink. Because <laughs> no one wants to drink gin. Yeah, until it becomes cool. And people will learn to love it. As Randall Cunningham, 25. Yeah, Rebel, I agree. The seltzer, I'm, I'm not part of that, that that White Claw seltzer beer trend. It's okay. Like, I can have... I don't know. I, I could have a, 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 a can of it, you know, maybe on a hot day as a refreshing beverage. But after that, I, mean, I can't have more than one of those in one, in one sitting. There's Chris Olave to 149. He'd be one of the more dynamic receivers of this draft class. To 299, we've got rookie uh, Taekwon Thornton for the Patriots. There's Bailey Zapp for the Patriots. And Cunningham again. And we have for the Jaguars a Trayvon Walker. Nestor and the Jags. And we got a Justin Ross, 62 out of 99. This is a Chief, I believe. I'm thinking of, look, saw, saw this guy in the last four boxer, or four boxer or two ago. That will be for Nestor and Kansas City. Right, Chilo? Chief, right? He's a Chief. Confirm, Chilo. Our resident Chiefs fan. I think Rebel's a Chiefs fan too, I think. He. Uh, two, out of 299, Run CMC. Would love to see him uh, put together a full season. That'd be awesome. Wow, a one of one, Drake London. That's for Rick Thomas and the Atlanta Falcons. Nice. I, I thought that blue parallel, I didn't peg that to be a one of one. That's awesome. Let's get that mini into that top loader here. Out of five, Rick knows this. Out of five and under, train whistle. Rick, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo it's pretty cool. Went to college out here. Went to college about, I don't know, 30, 30, 20, 30 minutes east of here. As the crow flies, there's always traffic here, so a lot of times it's longer than that. But without traffic, man, like right now, Sunday night, 9.30 on the West Coast. If I left right now, yeah, I could probably get to... Probably get to USC by in about 20, 30 minutes. Out of 100, Trayvon Walker, maybe closer to 30 minutes. 
We are kind of far away from the freeway. I'd say about 30 minutes. Although maybe, no, I'm thinking of, no, that's, that would be stupid. I, don't, I can't go up to the 405. I can cut across the 110, blast down the 105, fly up 110 north, and I'd be at USC. That'd be pretty fast. I'd probably get there pretty quickly. I don't know why I was thinking of the 405 and take the 10 east. It's ridiculous. Who would do that? That would take you away from the USC, and you have to cut back across. No way. Come on, man. No, I can even go down Artesia. I'd probably have to cut over to a freeway or something. I could go 405 north, then cut across the 105. And then you hit the 110, you go north right there, and you, then you hit the 110 and then 10 freeway, you meet right there. Coliseum would be on your west side or your left window going north. Make that quick little exit. Bam, you're right there. USC. Getting from well, I'm talking about getting from from the shop to US to USC where uh, Drake London used to play. Uh, sounds like an episode of the uh, Californians. Uh, we play to the whistle. Not the train whistle here, we play to the whistle. We're almost at triple zeros on the game clock here, so Harry and anyone else who hasn't gotten a hit yet, deep breath, keep the fingers crossed. In case you have like one major highway. Yeah, we've got the, the, the 5, the 405, the 10, the 110, the 101. Let's go further east, it's got the 710, the 605. <laughs> A lot of freeways. If you ever look at a map, uh, Walt Disney put the uh, animation studio in Burbank thinking that from Burbank, this is back in the 50s, right? The Burbank to the theme park in Anaheim back in the day on the 5 freeway was like a 20 minute drive or something like that. You know, and they're like, yeah, it'll be easy to get from the theme park to Burbank to the animation studio. I can, Walt Disney, I can go back and forth overseeing film projects. There's uh, Clint Portis to 150 and the theme park, blah, 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 blah. Now, people will laugh in your face. They'd be like, you're crazy if you think you could get from Burbank to Anaheim in 20 or 30 minutes. There's Cameron Jordan, 49 out of 50 for the Saints. That'll be for Adam and the Saints. But unless you're in Southern California, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Barry Sanders to 100 for the Lions. Jalen Tolbert, Dallas. Cody Coffin. Jalen Tolbert, Frank Gore. We're getting to the end here. What do we got? Fingers crossed, everybody. There should be one more, right? We got the one of one. Yeah, I think there should be one more autograph, two per box on average. And then, remember, even if you don't get a hit, if you follow the instruction, you got at least two teams, you got a chance at break credit too. So even if you go hitless, you'll, you might have a chance to stumble into a little break credit. We got a mini pop in here. That's Alvin Kamara for the Saints. Got a Malik Willis to 299 for the Titans, EA. He, he may get some time out there in Tennessee. Desmond Ritter might also get some time. 
Damian Pierce is your final autograph. That is for Jerry and the Texans. Under the lights, Joe Burrow. And that, my friends, is that. Sean Alexander in the back right there. There you go, gang. That was the final four boxes of that, that case we popped open. This was Pick Your Team 6. Big thanks to everyone here for making it happen. I appreciate it. If you bought at least two teams, if you followed the instructions, then you got a chance at some break credit. So let's alphabetize by your first names. All right, so Adam, you got six teams. Gilo's saying, just throwing it out there, Walt Disney grew up in Missouri. He ended up going to California. I think that was the right move, right? No? <laughs> Alienating the entire state of Missouri. Apologies. Uh, six teams, three entries for you, Adam. Two teams, one entry for you, Dan. Two teams, one entry for EA. Harry, three teams, two count for the purpose of the promo. Still an entry. Jeremy and Jerry just got one team each. Matt with two teams, that's an entry. Michael got four teams, that's two entries. Uh, Nestor also got four teams, that's two entries. Patrick got two teams, that's one entry. Rick T got two teams, that's an entry. All right, so we got Adams, three teams, three entries. We got Dan, EA, Harry, Matt, Michael with two, Nestor with two. I think those guys got four teams each, right? Patrick with one and Rick T with one. All right. So that's 13 entries. Top two will get 125 bucks of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Top two after two, Snake Eyes. Left eye of the snake and right eye of the snake. Adam, congrats to you. Adam Kupperman, two names on top, one break credit code for 250 going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Um, break seven is going to be four boxes from a fresh case. So whatever that's worth, go and get it, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.